Mai Kako, and welcome to beautiful Hilo Paliku. We're here today at Honolii with two wonderful people, and Mr. Aaron Salah and Ms. Snowbird Bento. Aloha Mai Kako. Aloha. Welcome to Mele Makali Hivai here in this wonderful place. Yeah. Uh, just wanted to say how honored I am to be with two of my closest friends here today. And uh, we, are brought, we brought you here today to talk about music and the importance of music and not only in, in, in what we do, but in music um, as how it identifies who we are as a, as a Lahui. And so I've, we wanted to ask you today a question about how did you get involved in music and how has music been involved in your life? How long? Maybe we can start with you, Snow, since yeah. you're the prettiest. <laughs> oh, mahalo nuya. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Music, I guess, was always around me growing up. Um, both sides, my grandparents really played music in, in church on my mama's side. And so I grew up listening to them. Every Sunday, that was our hana. After we pow church, we come home, have our dinner. And then we have ohana time, and that consisted of um, singing. Uh, grandpa was on the kika with a um, falsetto, tenor voice, and then grandma was a soprano with her ukulele. Um, and then on my dad's side, my, my grandmother was really my first kumuhula in the sense oh. that she taught me my first hula. Beautiful. Yeah. And Aaron, what was, uh, how did you start with music, or were you just born as a beautiful, wonderful musician? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> you know, I was born in Honolulu, but um, my father is pure Samoan, yeah? So we moved shortly thereafter to Samoa. And um, in Samoa then, as it is now, I think, everybody in the village sings. Everybody in the village dances. Um, and, you know, at that time, everybody sang and, and we all danced for the love of God, right? Everything is uh, centered around the church. And so um, I, I think we brought that home with us when we finally came back to Kailua, to my grandparents' home in Kailua, Oahu. Um, but the seed, you know, the sort of the germination of, of all, of all of these things that I've done in music were from that experience and living in Samoa. Mm, beautiful. So, you know, we, we, you're known as one of the most uh, wonderful piano players Oy. that we have in our Lahui. Mahalo. And uh, when, when did that start for you, piano playing? And I started in Samoa. So when we lived in Samoa, we only had um, electricity for an hour a day. And so not much to do, right? <laughs> um, and so my mother got uh, my sister and I, or my sister and me involved in um, tennis and golf and piano lessons. And so every Thursday after school, we would go from South Pacific Academy um, in Tafuna to Leone, to Terry's piano studio. And um, that's when I started playing piano. When, I moved, uh, when we moved to Grandma's house in Kailua, we had a, a 1938 uh, piano, grand, six foot grand in the living room, which I thought was for me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Until one evening, um, I went to a luau with, with Grandma and, and Grandpa, and we came home, and Grandma went to the piano. And I thought she was going to call me over to play, you know, some Bach or something for her. And she started to play. And, you know, my jaw was on the ground because I had not any idea that anyone else played in the house until that point. And so we made a deal that she would teach me how to play what she played as long as I practiced what I was supposed to practice. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> and as our, as our resident uh, rooster over there, Mr. Yeah. Lepe. Uh. <laughs> and so, um, so from that moment on, that's when I started to, you know, really pay attention to who, who the players were, Auntie Leila, Uncle Mahi, and, and allow them, or well, I should say, they allowed me to hang out with them. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He's so excited. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. yeah, the kupuna hear you. <laughs> you know, and that, that's really beautiful. But so when did this relationship, because I know you guys are very close friends. And when did this relationship start to b happen with between yourselves with music and just this friendship? How did that start? <laughs> I know when. when? Uh, Kamehameha schools, middle school. I was in eighth grade. He was in seventh grade. We had Mrs. Rhinelander oh. as our Naleo choir director. Naleo ho'o hei hei o Kamehameha. We both sang baritone. It is true. <laughs> Really? And that's Rock of my soul. <laughs> oh, really in really? the bosom of Abraham. Oh, yeah, Kamelia. Yeah. Uh, Maui, Himenia. Yeah. <laughs> really? oh. <laughs> well, you know, uh, we would be really uh, appreciative and honored if you guys would maybe share a song right now. Sure. Um, Bert, would you like to sing a song? Uh, what would you like to sing for us today? I, I was thinking about um, sharing Heu'i. Uh, Heu'i is, you know, a lot of people know Heu'i, of course. It's one of those songs that most people sing 
wherever they are. You don't have to be in a halal to sing it, but um, I said earlier that my grandmother was like my first kumuhula in the sense that she wasn't a, a hula teacher, nor was she a hula dancer. She just loved to play music. She loved to play ukulele. She had an auto harp. And before the auto harp, she had something else. And so I would be, you know, she'd be strumming, and uh, that's how I learned how to play, you know, I'll Remember You and all these <laughs> kinds of songs, right, from my, my grandma. And um, she was the youngest lady in the senior citizens class. And she would drag me with her. And so she, one day when I was about three or so, we were living in Pawa Valley, uh, Kona O'ahu, and um, grandma said, I'm going to teach you this song. And so for the next, I don't know, about 13 or 14 years, that was the song I danced all the time with grandma was Heu'i. And so since then, with my own nieces and my own sister, my, my ohana, I taught them grandma's choreography. Oh, beautiful. And so, um, so that we can go and visit her where she's at, and, you know, in Kaneohe and um, at the gravesite and sing Heu'i and dance for her the same stuff she taught me. So oh, start with Heu'i. Beautiful. Noraila e Hawaii. E ho'olohe e nanea i na leo nahe nahe o ke o mau kanaka e lua me ke mele o heui. Aloha. Heui. Heui no oi ke i ke mai He pua ho o he no i kala Ho o e na ka ui aloha He pua i mili You're watching Mele Makali Makalihi Vai here in Honolulu with Miss Snowbird Bento and Mr. Aaron Salah, and we'll be right back. Aloha. All of the epic stories of great cultures have their heroes, guardians, and legends. In Hawaii, these 21st century masters are tapping into ancestral memory in times of modern disconnect to sustain our Hawaii for generations to come. Join us for Nalawea The Masters, an original series available now on Oivi TV, channel 326. Aloha mai kako, e ho i kako, ma ane'i, ma uh, honolii, 
e hoolohe nei, e nana nei, kanaka loea maika ika himeni, a me keola, a me kanoho na Hawaii, o mele ma kalihi wai. Uh, aya kako me Snowbird Bento, lawa o Aaron Sala, o wauno o kihei na hale a. Uh, Snowbird, uh, kahi no mako uh, hoolohe aku i keoli, uh, na, nahe nahe leo maika i uh, Aaron, i kela oli a o ia maya anakala mahi. Uh, o oe he kanaka he kumu hula, a he kanaka ole ke, oli ke kahi. Uh, he kumu paha kao i uh, ya o ya oe, i epinene ke oli a me ke kahi mau mea Hawaii. Ai, um, ma ko uwa, ma ke kula, ki e ki e o ka meha meha, a e wau malalo o ka malu o ka ukumo, o e hoi o holo uwa stender. Ai. Um, Ame Randy Kamuela Fong, Ame Anakala Wayne, Kia Hi Chang, and Ikela Manava, Walohe Vau in Aleo, Oke Kahi Maupoe, uh, Oli, Ma Founders Day. And Nono Vau, oh, Ikuva, Puka, maka, Makeku Lana Umikuma Malua, or oh, Make Make Vau, Kamea, e, Kamea Oli, No Founders Day, uh, Makamehameha, and so Ikela Va, wa, wa Hele Mela, or um, Kumu holo ua a ua noe aku oye ya u. Uh, pehea make make paha oe e oli no pauwahi, no Founders Day. Um, and ua ua no ova no ova o ai. O pono vau e, e, um, e kama ilio me lese balos mamua no kamea o vau uh, kamea ala kai no kemele o ka papa. Oh. So ua pono vau e koho he mele oli ho i oe ai ole he ala kai no kemele. So ua koho vau kamea oli. Mm. So my kela va ho 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 i vo i i kaleo oli a a me kela um, hana no kame walo he vo ke kahi mau leo na he na he a i kai kaloa o ke kahi mau kumu hula i kela i kuva kamali i o ho i oli na ala kala mahaini ma and lo he vo i kala ko leo a no no vo pehea la pehea kau e e you know make make nui vo i hana i like me kela pehea. Um, he hiki pahaya uke noho ma malalo o kamalu o ke kahi kumo um and so we're lucky no ho ivo no kame yeah. a ke kahi mau kumo ile ila ma kame mm. meha and o kumo holo ua ku kumo uh, iku uva uniki mm. uh, uh, e lilo ana wau i kumo yeah. hula ke, ai, ai, ai makela uniki ana uh, nui komako ha aheo komako hau oli e, ike ana ya oe makela kula na kumo oyai he kanaka awamo oe. Uh, oh, ike oh. ia uh, kupono no uh, kokulana a ko uh, hoho ma kaukau ia no oe no ka malama anai kakako maupua na oe hoi na keiki o Hawaii. Uh, uh, ma hope o kela uniki ana o oe ke kahi la ana mai kai o kamana o a ohe pau ka ike i ka oh, halau yeah. ho o kahi. Ai, polo lei. Uh, iloko no o ka paana o ke oli ale wo hoho mau ia kela mau ka haku ana uh, and wa haku oi mau mele mau oli paha oh, yeah. uh, lo apa ke kahi mele oli ai uh, uh, i au i haku ai i make make e ka ana like paha ai hiki me hiki no uh, ke ia mele he mele, he mele oli no hau mea mm. uh, maybe e kolu mau maka hiki aku nei wa no hova o kamalu uh, o puala ni kana hele mm. uh, wa wa Make make loa oya ia mako e kolu o kamuela yem ame la kapulenchenko e e koho ke kahi mo olelo a me me ke kahi ma uoli i loko lela a e no o no o ana mako pehe ka mako oli a pehe ke ano ko mako oli ina oli make la olelo so hike mako ke a hapa i ke la mau manao mai ka va kupuna mai uh, no leila ua koho mako ka moolelo ke ka au a haumea pili me wakea. Mm -hmm. uh, no leila ua haku wau ke kahi um, mele no ko umau wahine no ko laka ko wa komo i loko ka mele manaka ka makahiki e lua kaukani umi kumama lua uh, eia noho ike laoli o haumea. Eia e noho, snowbird bento. Oh, how me akavahine aiva iva i aiva iva no how me ai kahano no no ha elai ke kaula palihinu 
Ikapali ku anu anu o va va o no uka ikava o na hele o tahali makali hili o laumi haiki lohana haiki lo ihola ke pipi o ke li ake u apa u apa ano. Hele i kai to mo i taha ulu O kame ha i ka na he ki no ulu Ulu ke ki no pa ha o ha o ha o me Apu ka ma i na ki no pa pa ha valu Ki no pa pa ha ma no ki no pa pa lehu I mano mano i ta lehu lehu o na ki no o haumei Puka o haumea ka wahine a i waiwa Ke nana nei oe ya mele makalihi wai Me na lala o ke kumu o wa uki hei na hale a He hoi mai koe, aloha You're looking at a voyage that will take Hokulei away from Hawaii for three years. You would be sailing at least 45,000 nautical miles. It would be by far the most dangerous thing that we would ever consider doing as a voyaging family. The risks are huge, but on the other side, the possibilities are enormous. We're not going to change the world, but we're going to go and build a network of people around the earth who are going to change it. And our job is to help them be successful. Welcome back to Mele Makali Hiwai here in Honolii on the island of Hawaii at Hilo Paliku. I'm your host, Kihe Nahalea, and I'm blessed to be with two uh, Maoli Pua Koveku, Oyehoeo, Snowbird Bento, Lawa O, Aaron Sala. And we've been so fortunate to hear such a beautiful story about um, your traditions, where you've come from, your foundations, and your kumus. And uh, we just listened to you, Snowbird, really share. Uh, how we as Kanaka reciprocate back the knowledge that was given to us, and that is by creating new things. And um, Aaron, you are Hakumele as well, and uh, would you like to share a little bit about uh, some of the things you've created and some Mele you've created and very the inspiration? very heavy you're giving to <laughs> us oh, you today. Know. Oh, you have broad shoulders. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, my sort of exploration in, in my identity as a Hawaiian surely was started at Kamehameha, but not until I finished my BA and I started graduate studies right. that I really hoi kapiko, you know, like maka no no ana, and um, and so I, you know, when I got into the graduate program in ethnomusicology, master's program at Manoa, a few semesters before that I had started taking Hawaiian studies classes and olelo Hawaii classes, mama no nei, and so I was um, hired to be a graduate assistant at Kamakoko Kalani and uh, training to teach uh, several of the classes there. One of the classes I trained for was um, Lily Kala's genealogies class. It's a 300 level course there. And um, this is sort of the, my first stab at hakumeleing. So I, I'm sharing the, the context of, of this mele. And so I was sitting in this class training to teach genealogies and Lily Kala is, is um, you know, at the helm really. And she talks about these ali'i like they are in the room. You know, she has such a reverence and such a knowledge of these people. And she made a comment one day about the notion of kawa. Mm. And that we tend to think of kawa as these untouchables. Yeah? We don't talk to them, we don't see them. Uh, but she, she contextualized this word kawa of by by using a story of one ali'i being kawa to another and um, she 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 used the phrase ovau no ke kawa and that would that moment i think i think in the moment it really wasn't me hakuing kahimele yeah? um just like he muse you know kaui kela like ikela manava mm -hmm. you know kela minuke and um i went back to my office and and wrote down what was in my head about um, the process of being in a relationship, you know, and in the beginning, 
you know, hali'i, like you can be um, unstoppable, right? Alila uh, hekahu. Uh, people hear about these things and they start to talk. It's the Hawaiian way, we know. And, um, and so hekahu, okay, ya pilina. And then after you get over all of those those initial butterflies, then you really get to know one another. Ah, he ho aloha. Right. And in that moment, in the moment of being becoming ho aloha, lilo vaui iki aloha. You know, and so in that moment, you also become kawa. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I penned this this sort of mele uh, that I entitled ka upu aloha. And I took it to a friend of mine, Kiave Lopez, who I have uh, tremendous respect for as a hakumele. And he looked at, there's one verse in there that he was like, I'm not too sure about this, um, this line, pauku'uaho ya mahealani, because of the notion of pauku'uaho and how your aho pows, yeah. you know? And um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort of leave it there because I left pauku'uaho ya mahealani, I'm, I'm nokalahui, I left it there on purpose because he kauna kokila pauku, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, but this is a mele called um, Kaupualo Hiki. Hiki okay. no. Kahi mele Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Aaron Salah. We'll be right back. Aloha. Our mo'olelo are rich and layered with meaning. They're timeless truths revealed by our scholars and storytellers. Kahonua Ola and other Hawaiian resource materials available from Kamehameha Publishing. Welcome back to Mele Makalihiwai here in Hilo. 
And we're here during a really special time of the year. We're here during Merry Monarch Week, which is why we get to interview such wonderful uh, musicians, Kumuhula entertainers. And we are back here again with Snowbird Bento and Aaron Salah. And um, Snowbird, I want to ask you a question. Uh, one thing that uh, Merry Monarch does at times is actually inspires new creation and um, and uh, to, to create new things all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of that is, is hula, but also there's some of that is mele. And you can't hula without the mele. So when a mele comes and you get inspired uh, to write something, what is it like to write something new and then to, uh, to choreograph it? What's that like? Could you tell us a story about that? Hi, mahalo nui. I was just thinking back, reminiscing our first Mary Monarch competition as a halau was in 2005. And um, when I think about it, since 2005 all the way until last year, 2013, for every Mary Monarch that we've competed in, our halau has been um, able to bring to life in a very public venue new mele, whether it's in the form of mele or oli, kahiko or awana. Um, and I didn't plan on that, but it just became something that we wanted to do. And, um, you know, just I can remember back when um, learning from my kumu holo'ua and, and from Randy Fong folks and them saying to us that, you know, they had an experience where they entered a competition and uh, one of the judges there, I think, I believe it was Uncle George Holokai, said to them, it's beautiful to know that you folks know the traditions. It's even more beautiful and inspiring to know that you folks can write for yourselves. And when I thought about that and I thought about all my kumu, one of the things that I really think is important is that we're pushing Olelo Hawaii. Okay. And our Olelo lives physically right now in, in our hula, in our chant, in our oli, uh, makes it accessible to the lehu lehu. And so um, the idea that we can, we have the competency to create new mele and then put that to hula is unbelievable. And for me, when that perfect marriage of um, hakumele and creation of movement to bring to life those mo'olelo, whatever the mo'olelo may be, to me, that is the magic. And so when we go to, to a stage such as Mary Monarch, we have the ability to bring to life in front of a very public audience, which is part of the magic of mm -hmm. Hakumele. Mm -hmm. um, the history of magic of Hakumele is that you have to perform it, and it has to be done live, and it has to be done in front of an audience. And those who will get it at that time, they'll get it. And those who don't, they'll take a little bit more time. Ike no ikalauka ike, mana no ikalauka mana. Oi, oi. <laughs> and so I've been blessed to have several different composers besides myself. Uh, Kiao Nesmith has, has had some of his things that we've performed. Um, Kamuela Yim, La Akapu uh, And um, even my tita, BJ Peloso, she oh wrote yeah. uh, Oli Aloha for Kawaii when the ladies did Nani Haupu. And so um, in that same tradition, I wanted to say that Hakumele doesn't always happen as I had a dream <laughs> or... I saw yes, this thing, yes, yes. and I had a vision. No, I mean, hakumele can also be done out of necessity. Aye. So um, in 2012, for our awana, we want, I wanted to do Pua Iliahi to remember um, Uncle Mahi. And I uh, was trying to find a song that I thought would match up. The mana'o would match for the ka'i and ho'i, because I like them to match up. Yes. That uh, one leads into the other or helps to build up the momentum yeah. of the main mele. Le Lepe, the uh, rooster Lepe is agrees. agreeing, with He's agreeing a whole lot right now. Aloha, Lepe. <laughs> and so um, I couldn't find a mele that I was comfortable with for Pua Iliahi, and I decided, okay, crunch time, got to turn in a fact sheet. Like, literally, I have twi 24 hours. <laughs> and so there I was in front of my computer, like, come on, bird, <laughs> you need a mele. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mele. and so um, this little ditty came up. It's a four-line song. And since then, I've had people email and inquire, hey, so who wrote that song? Are there more lines? But it seems so complete. No, there's only four lines, just four. And um, it said everything I wanted it to say to lead into Pua Iliahi. So appropriate to do this song right now and to mention uh, Uncle Mahi since we're right near their family home mm -hmm. here in Hilo. And uh, if you would indulge us with the beautiful mele. Okay, hopefully I can remember. Yeah. It's Kiss Me Ku Uipo. Yeah. This is Jimmy, Miss Snowbird Bento. E nanea. Kiss me, a kuui po, a he aloha no, a he aloha. E waft my nei 
Kohanu ala, make a gentle breeze. Oh no no, make a gentle breeze. Oh no no, kiss me, kiss me. Ile ano ho ikahula ikaho opa kumula snowboard bento. We'll be right back. Aloha mai ena mamo ahalo a mai ke kahi au au a i ke kahi au au a ko ke ia fai aina. E ia mako na ho o kaleo oivi. E lau na mai noi ke ia ha ule lau ma oivi TV nei. Um, what did she just say? Stick around, you'll find out. Bye-bye. Kaleo Oibi, a new Hawaiian language learning series now on Oibi TV, digital channel 326 and online at oibi.tv. I will hoi mai no hoi kako ya mele makalihi vai ma honoli inei ma hilo. Mahalo nui loa ya oko ya olua no hoi e snowbird lao Aaron. Nui ko u mahalo i ko ulua hele ana mai, kipa ana mai ya mako. Mahalo ke kono. Mahalo nui ya oko. O ka u mea hope loa i vala au ai. Make make vao i vala au i pilina ka pilina. Mana anu apau. He pilina ho aloha ka kako a he pilina kuleana ka kako a ua ho iki ea. Kela pilina, mana ano apau, ma ko kako hua ka i ana i wakine kona. E ho ike aku ai i ka poe o ke ao, ka honua, e pilina ka nani o ka Hawaii. Ma ke kahi, he ahi a mea, ma Smithsonian, ea? E hike ene iau i ke vehevehe li ili mai pilani ke la? So makahiki, makamakahiki i wakalua umi kuma makahi paha ea, wa hai ia wau e hanakahi, Field work, no ka Smithsonian um, Folklife Festival, Folklife um, no ke ia kauvela ku nei ea. Um, o, ka, o ka mea nui o, o ka Smithsonian Folklife Festival, ke ia, uh, ke ia kauvela ku nei ka um, indigenous languages, you know, uh, uh, endangered languages, you know, on, on in the world. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So ua hai ia wau e, e nina wele aku i na kanaka e, um, e ho'o mauwana. Yeah, I didn't know what he was a field worker, you know, he was in Hawaii, Haiia. And so, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I was like, you know, I was like, 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 Maka mele no hoi. Eh, maka mele hoi, ya, so. Hai, awa nani no hula ka u mau keiki, no kumu snowbird, nui ko mako pomai kai i ke la, ao kumu i ka u mau keiki, mao ko olelo Hawaii, a nui ko na hoomana wa nui mai i ka u mau keiki, a mahalo ya oi, no ko mea kuno i ka makua kane. E ana e, ma kokako ho ike ana, Ua ike ua ano ho'oholo ia he mea nui ko kako ho ike aku i ka honua kahi i ano loli ai i ke ea o ka aina. Ua ho'oholo ia e himeni aku a ho ike aku i kahi mele o e ho'i o kaulana na pua. Ma mua o ma ko'u ho'o maka ana me ke mele Hawaii a ohe o ike i hi e pina ka mo'o lelo o ia mele. A wapono wau ea o nani loa ke ea and ma ko'u nana ana ma mua he mele nanea e mele hau oli a ka ma ko'u au ana a ko'u launa ana ka hoi kaika ia ko'u pilina me na kanaka i maupopo i ka mo'olelo a me ka mo'au kalo ka lahui 
homaka oe ike i ka mea nui o kela mele ya kako no ka mea malela no ke, ke kahi kuina ke kahi wa e ano loli ai mm. yeah. mm. I, I kalahu i aloha yeah. nui ia oh, yeah. Uh, hiki ane pā ya oe Snowbird ke wehewe li ili e pili ana ka mea nui o ko kako ho oma nao ana i kela mele. Lilo kela he e mele ai pohaku a ka he mele ah, lahu i aloha ia. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, he pono no ka himeni ia. Hiki ane oe ke wehewe li ili mai pili ana kela. A ina hiki, make make vo ia ka ko i himeni ina hiki. Oe, oh, yeah, oe, oh, yeah. you know. uh, no kau o lela wana e noo noo ana vo e ho oma nao ho i vau i kahi a uh, oli. Uh, ua haku ia nā lā hui o Hawaii, nō no lili o kalani i kona wā hele i wakine kona dese. Maka maka hiki umi kuma mawalu kana iwa kuma ono. Ua hele oia i wakine kona dese a hele mua oia mamua o ka pelikekena o ka aina huipu Amerika ea. O lela oia, a ole make make makou i keia ano hana ka oko Hana hewa hoi. Mm-hmm. Uh, and u, ua, ua haku ia ke kahi mau oli, a me ke kahi mau mele. Um, and ovai, ovai na haku o ke la mau mele, ke la mau oli, na kanaka. Hiki ia oike ike, uh, kainoa, ona, ona hoku ona lahui. And so no no vo, he, he kule ana nui ho i kana i ke manawa. Um, uh, I ko mako hele ana i wakine kona dese uh, ke ia kauvela kunei no no e eh, ke la mele o kaulana na pu ai he mele aloha no ho i ke la cause i ke la i ke la va nui nui na po e vala au eh? nui na po e vala au a uh, vala au ho i lako ia liliu a uh, e ia la ko u heva e kalani ko u aloha i ka po e i aloha aina mm. mm-hmm. e ia la ko u heva a ua kakao i ua hako ia o lili u ke kahi mele pili ana kela manao. Mm. So, i ka wā a mākou i hele i leila, a hi meni ho i mākou i kaulana na pua, bra, uwe ho i ia, uwe ho i vau no ka mm-hmm. mea, i loko ku u na au, mau no ko mākou aloha i ka aina, mm-hmm. mau no ko mākou aloha i ko mākou mau ali'i, no ka mea, he hawai i ho i kako. Mm-hmm. A eia noho i ka makou aina pula pula, ka makou aina o iwi. Mm-hmm. A na kako no, na kanaka o iwi. Yeah, so, yeah. Ke, he, you know, o vai ke kule ana e hapai awamu ia na, na mea holo o koa, o neia aina, na makou noho i. Mm-hmm. And mahalo nui na kumu a pau no keia mau makahiki. Mai Aye. kelawa a hiki ke imanawa. No ko lako ho mana nui, mm-hmm. no ko lako ao ana, no ko lako ho o paa ke kahua ho ino mako ea. Ko lako hili nai. Ai, na, ko lako hili na nai, nai e ho i mai kako. Ai. A, e ho mana o ho i kako i ke aloha. Ai. Ke aloha o ka aina. Oh, ke la, oh, yeah. ke iho nua e, e, a, uh, ya hala. A, uh, ho o, o ho o piha i ka mako na au. Ai, ano leila. Pono e uh, pono kako e himeni mau ina mele a ho ohana no ka mea he oi ono ke la olelo no eau i, I ka olelo no ke ola i ka olelo no ka make oh, yeah. uh, i ka himeni no ka ho ohui ana o ka lahui Nara, e olu olu a uh, e ka lahui e ma waho a e ma ke kiwi a uh, e kako nei ma ke eo uh, o mele ma kalihi vai a uh, Mahalo nui ya o Ivi TV, a himeni kako ya kaulana na pua. Himeni pu kako. Ai, himeni himeni pu, pu kako. Pu. Kaulana. Kaulana na pua o Hawaii. Kupa ama hope o ka ai. Mai ka elele o ka loko ino Pala pala a nunu me ka paka Pane mai Hawaii i moku o ke awe Koku ana honoa o pi ilani Ako o mai kaua i o mano Pa 
Makalihivai, o vau no okihei na halea me kuumau hoa pili. Snowbird Bento, Mr. Aaron Sala, mahilo nei mahono lii. Me ke aloha nui, e nana oko ma uivi TV, e ho o maui kea o akahava i. Aloha. <laughs> 